All right, <laughs> welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the games that we play and specifically the two that uh, I've learned from Alex Hermosi from watching two podcasts yesterday. It's called, it's about infinite and finite games. So we humans, we play a lot of games. We, people play video games, people play status games, people play social games, people play money games, people play, you know, war games, people like people play games, right? So it might make more sense to try to understand them. And I think the two most important ones to understand are infinite and finite games. So when I was listening to Alex Hermosi yesterday, which if you don't know who Alex Hermosi is, he is the owner of acquisition.com. If you want to hear more stories about him, I think he's a phenomenal model for people who want to get into business and start learning things because he does talk about stuff that's very non-conventional. And even if you can't take all of his worldviews, you can, I know you can at least get away with one and you will learn something from him. So the one thing that I took away yesterday from watching, it was Chris Williamson and then the Diary of a CEO. I don't know who the uh, person who made that is. Actually, I probably should look that up, but that's not important. But it's the Diary of the CEO and Chris Williamson. Those two podcasts. <laughs> those two podcasts. And he was talking about infinite and finite games. So first he said it was made by a guy named simon sinek i think he was the guy who made a book about like uh, ask why it was a book called something about why and simon sinek is i think he's like a game theorist and he's basically in this like productivity kind of self-help scene you might have seen him it's a, a guy with black hair and glasses he kind of plays the part but, <laughs> but he's pretty cool so he's talking about infinite and finite games and the example that simon, simon sinek used that and alex hermosi used was the example of the vietnam war he said, he said, stop applying fixed games to finite games. So what does this mean? So when we think about the Vietnam War, right? America was going in and they were saying that we're just going to win this war, right? But war is basically an infinite game. And what the Vietnamese people said is that we're going to survive as long as we're going to survive and fight. That's a different thing. There's two different things. They're going to win the war and they're going to survive and fight. Who's going to win? The person who's surviving or the person who just says they're going to go in there and win. They, they had no strategy. Think about this with people on the internet and think about like what I'm doing right now is just making content. People say that once I get to this point, I'm done. Or once I, uh, once I get this many followers, I'm done. The game with content creation is not to win. The game is not win. Because with the finite games, you win. In infinite games, you keep playing. In business, you keep playing. In war, you keep going. Content creation, you keep going. Fitness, you keep going. There's no, you know, end point where it's like, oh yeah, I'm in shape. You know, the goal is to stay in shape. Like Alex Ramosi was saying, I'm using really good examples from him because these made sense. When it comes to content, it's not about virality, really. It's just about who can stay consistent for the longest amount of time. And it just made sense to me when he said that. I think the biggest thing I got out of it was like consistency. Consistency being that as long as you keep going, like that's the whole point of the game with business. That's the whole point of the game. The person who stays alive the longest wins. That's a finite, that's an infinite game. Now I don't really, I can't really think of any examples of like finite games, but most of the games we humans play are infinite games. Even just like living, like right now, like this is a finite, this is an infinite game. Like the longer you live, the more consistent you are. Therefore, the more rewards you get. You really think about this. You're putting it on a longer time horizon to give yourself basically, I guess, success. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So infinite and finite games. I'm going to give the, the examples again. Business. It's an infinite game. It's an infinite game. Fitness. It's an infinite game. You want to stay in its shape as long as possible. Business, you want to stay in business as long as possible. Just think if Apple, was, the, their goal wasn't to stay alive for as long as possible. And their goal was just to be like, oh yeah, we're going to make the best products. No, the goal pretty much was for them to stay as long as possible and make the best products. But it's an infinite game. Think about content creation. It's not about one, one, uh, one video. It's about multiple videos. You keep posting them over and over and over and over again on a consistent basis. And when you keep doing that, you make yourself in infinite. Also thought about the idea of uh, anti-fragility in this from Nassim Taleb, another game theorist. And I haven't really been able to, to connect the ideas, but if you can connect the ideas, 
and go for it. But there's very similarities. It's just anti-fragile. You just keep going. And think about war again. I'm going to give this example again because this is very, very key. The United States said we're going to win this war. The Vietnamese people said we're going to stay alive and fight. And inevitably, I'm pretty sure the U.S. had to back out of that. So if that's the case, you need to be as consistent as possible and stop applying fixed solutions to finite systems. No, not fixed. Fixed solutions to infinite systems. Thank you.